Hello my beautiful internet friends. I hope you're having an amazing day. Today's video is gonna be a things and stuff video and you guys know how much I love these. I love meshing like a favorites video with what's going on in my life and what's been on my radar. So these are a perfect way of just sitting down and catching up with you guys on that kind of a level. And please let me know if there's anything that you have been loving or trying or using in the comments below because I find so many cool things from you guys. So don't be shy. I am currently in Bali for Brooke and Sean's wedding. They just got married yesterday. So that is the first thing that I want to speak about because oh my god Brooke is married I was so grateful to be a part of the wedding party this entire wedding has just been a complete dream I'm gonna be sharing some photos on Instagram so make sure to hop over to my Instagram to check it out because honest to god this is the most visually stunning wedding that I've ever ever seen or probably will ever see it's just amazing every single aspect of it was so perfect and so many people came together to make this happen so huge props to everyone involved and Congratulations, Brooke and Sean. This is something you guys have wanted for ages and it's finally happened, it's finally here and I'm just very grateful to have been a part of it. So thank you. So that was the first thing I wanted to tell you guys about. The second thing is also friend related and I'm really excited to share it with you because my friend has worked so hard on this. My girl Renee Summerfield, who is a model, I'm sure you guys have seen her on many a clothing website or on Instagram, she is absolutely killing it. She has come out with her own swimwear line. She's done absolutely everything herself and I could not have more respect for her. I am so proud of what she's created and what she's done. So I wanted to show you two swimwear bikinis. The first one is this gorgeous kind of paisley blue one. It looks like this, sorry the cup is a cup isn't sitting very nice. I feel like it's kind of hard to show off. I might try and insert a clip of me wearing it. The bottoms look like this. They are a Brazilian cut and they definitely are a minimal coverage. Most of her line doesn't have a ton of coverage. It is more of a, like a Brazilian cut, cheeky kind of style. But if you're into that, you are going to absolutely love what she's created. My favorite, favorite piece is these simple black bottoms. I just think that they have such a flattering cut. It looks so good on, and everybody needs a good basic pair of either black or white or neutral swimwear, and I think she's absolutely nailed it on this cut. So I'm very proud of Renee for doing this. I really encourage you guys to check out her swimwear line if you are looking for some swimmers. And it's cool to support people that just do it themselves and put themselves out there because it's a lot of risk and a lot of time and a lot of energy and tears and emotions going into something like that. So. I'm always so happy to promote and help out friends in that which way. I really hope you guys check it out. A lot of you had asked in the comments about my current skincare routine and I feel like my skin has definitely been better the past couple of months. I have very, very stress triggered acne so I've had a little bit less stress in my life and I think that that definitely has made a difference. But I have also changed up my products because when Glenn and I flew into Canada, Canada is a lot more dry than Australia was. We seriously have chapped lips all the time, drinking tons more water, waking up in the middle of the night with a dry throat. So I did have to change up my skincare products as well because of that. So I had been using a lighter moisturizer and it just wasn't really cutting it. So I wanted to switch out to still a lighter feeling moisturizer because it is summer for me, but I needed it to have a lot more hydrating power. So what I ended up switching to was this Biotherm one. It's called the Aquasource Ever Plump. If you are looking for it, it's in a little jar like this and it is a gel-like consistency. And I really like that. I feel like it's very nice for summer. The best part about it is I don't actually have to use a primer when I use it. It has like a really silky smooth touch finish. So when I do use it, it's just like slap it on, start directly with my foundation. I really do like that this stuff does have a kind of like a plumping effect to my skin. I've tried similar products that plump your skin, but it doesn't also hydrate your skin. So it's kind of a cool multitasking product, but it makes it feel so silky soft. And I've really been enjoying that. So if you are looking for something that's giving you a lot more hydration, but still does have kind of more multi-purpose, this is definitely what you should be trying. Next thing I wanted to talk about was a deodorant that I've been absolutely in love with. It is from Sage and it's sitting right here. It is the Peaceful Warrior deodorant. This stuff is awesome. I'm not in love with the smell, so I think I might try a different scent next time, but holy Dinah, this stuff works. It is not an antiperspirant, so it's not gonna stop you from sweating, but it definitely makes your sweat not smell whatsoever and you feel a lot more fresher and clean when you use it, so. Definitely check it out. A hair product that I have been really into has been the Axis More oil treatment. I originally found Axis through Samantha from Battle Ash Beauty. She gets her hair colored there. And so when I moved to Vancouver, I didn't have a colorist because Brooke was my colorist and I was so sad to leave her. But um, I ended up going in there and they have their own line of products. 
So this one particularly is made in Canada and it is kind of like Moroccan oil but it doesn't have any of the excess added junk in it. It's just purely the good argan oil. So I've really been enjoying this. It makes your hair feel so slippery and smooth but in the best way possible. So check this out if you're looking for a new oil treatment. I'm not sure if you can buy online. I think you might be able to but don't take my word for it. I'll try and find a link and leave it down below for you though. The next thing I want to show you guys has been my absolute lifeline of traveling since I have been here. I've always traveled with quite a bit of jewelry because I don't know, I just I love taking photos and doing videos and having like an actual done up outfit with proper jewelry. And I've never had somewhere to store it while I've been traveling. So I used to put things in like Ziploc bags or wrap them up in like cloth to try and keep them from tangling, but it never really worked out for me and it was always really bulky and cumbersome. I found this at the container store. There isn't the container store in Canada, but you can order online, which I so greatly found out and I've been making very good use of that. But this little thing is freaking awesome. It zips open, it's absolutely huge, and it has all of these like little pockets that flip out that can hold your jewelry. And each individual little one can actually come out individually. It just snaps out and you can take it wherever you want to go with it. So I have, oh, that's where my perfume went. I've been looking for this in the last few days. That's actually kind of funny. Good, so I found my perfume. Um, I have my hair stuff in here as well. I have all my jewelry and any bigger necklaces I just chuck in the very bottom. But it really keeps everything from getting tangled. I love that it also helps just keep things organized. And also you're not gonna get anything like tarnished or kind of broken from improper storage. So I've been really, really loving this. I've never seen it before and I really recommend that you find one if you'd like to travel with a lot of jewelry because this is just so convenient. Love. I also really wanted to give a shout out to my UPS man. Um, I know that sounds pretty funny, but I have had absolute hell and back with Canada Post in Canada. I feel like it is the absolute worst mailing system in a first world country. It is so embarrassing to use their service, especially with this strike that's been happening. It's just been absolutely horrible running a business myself to deal with a company that just does not give a shit whatsoever about you. So I've been really, really appreciative of UPS and especially my UPS man. His name is Hung and I see him almost every single day because like I said, I, I have a lot of things coming and going with what I do for a living. and. He is just so reliable and lovely and goes out of his way every single time to make sure that I do get my delivery on time. And I really wanted to say a huge thank you. I don't know if anybody who's watching this works for UPS or knows how to pass that along. I've already tweeted them thank you, but yeah, I just wanted to say that and get that off my chest because he's just a rad guy and I really appreciate all the work he's put into helping me out. Do you want to be in my video? Sure. Hey everybody, come meet Liam. He was the MC at the wedding. He did a really good job. This is Sean's younger brother, youngest brother. Hey friends. Meet 630,000 people. That's more people than I know. Oh, I know, me too, right? Glenn stole sandwiches for you. I, he did, I'm so excited. Fuck Look. your boyfriend's good. I know, your boyfriend's the best. He even found the vegetarian ones for me. I'm gonna get away so I don't steal those sandwiches. I know, you. get out of here, kid. <laughs> <laughs> See you later. All right, so I wanna talk about this makeup product while I am thinking about it. This is the Makeup Store Cherie Lip Liner. I love the makeup store for multiple products, but this has been one of my absolute favorite go-to lip liners lately. It is a gorgeous, kind of pinky nudie, pinky shade. Looks like that. It's definitely a bit more pink in real life, but I love this. I think it is so gorgeous. They also have one in, I wanna say that it's nude beauty or natural beauty or something like that, and oh my gosh, it's just as nice. But check these out, they're great lip liners. They do awesome products just in general, but this one's really stood out to me lately. I'm not sure if you can buy online again. I think you do have to actually call into a makeup store and the actual brand is called The Makeup Store. A lot of the time I've said that brand before and you guys are like, what do you mean the makeup store? Like London drugs? No, like it's actually called The Makeup Store. But yeah, cool products. The only other thing I wanted to talk about today was Shambhala. I am going to Shambhala again. Shambhala for me is more than just a music festival. It is a community of like-minded individuals who just like to have a very, very good time. So I'll be going in, I don't know if it's the second weekend of August, maybe the third weekend in August ish, don't hold me to it. If you are going, please let me know in the comments because I would love to see you there. I think it's so much fun to meet viewers there. I've met you guys a couple times uh, the past two years going, and this is Glenn's first year coming, so I don't know, we'll see how he goes. He's a very like, he likes to wake up and have a tea and have a shower, and this is the kind of place where it's like, you're literally living in a tent in a field on a farm in the middle of nowhere for like five days. <laughs> There's definitely no showers, so we shall see how Glenn goes. 
it's gonna be an interesting one. But yeah, that is my things and stuff. I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. Don't forget, I will leave all the links for everything I can find down below in the info box if you are interested in finding it. Thank you for watching, I really do appreciate it, and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. I will see you guys really soon in a new video. See ya.